Hi and welcome back to Sadie Spincraft. Today is a dye video day. I will be dyeing minis. They will be 25 gram Cheviot hand spun and I'll be doing them in 100 grams. I'll be doing one gradient from, come on Sadie, I think. Where am I doing a gradient from? From platinum? No. From midnight blue to delphinium blue to platinum. And then I'll be doing a random one. And then I'll be doing, well, I'm going to let Hunter do one. So we'll see. See you soon. So in this pan, I have four 25 gram skeins that I've hand spun. And in the jar, I have citric acid and midnight blue i'm going to shake them on and then i think i think i pat them in but you'll see the gradient that i've gone through from top bottom of the skin through to the top of the skin so yeah i'm starting with midnight blue I'm just shaking it on and i will make up another with uh, citric acid and delphinium blue, I think it is. So yeah, I'm just patting it in with a teaspoon right now, making sure I've got nice coverage. And it is a low immersion, is this? It's not got a lot of water in. So yeah, in a minute you'll see me dry off the spoon and get the delphinium ready. I do five milligram of citric acid and then use the tip of the teaspoon to get the delphinium out. So that's the citric acid and here comes the delphinium. I changed spoons in a second because I realised I oh, can't use that. That's my citric acid spoon <laughs> and I get a bit on the end of the spoon and put it in with the citric acid and I think to myself, mm, do I need more? I think I do add a little bit more of the delphinium. Give it a good stir, make sure it's all mixed in properly. And then I just give it a shaking. And I realise my arm's in the way, so I do move. <laughs> and I'm not very good with my left hand. So I end up changing again. <laughs> And we're going different direction this time. We're going from left to right rather than up and down. Or right to left. Yeah, I think I decided I do need a bit more blue. So I ended up mixing some more citric acid and some more delphinium. So that I could just add that little bit more. On goes the extra delphinium. I do like delphinium because it does break wonderfully, but so does the platinum that I'm about to use. You get some beautiful rust orange breaking 
in the platinum. But with the midnight blue and delphinium, you get purples and pinks coming off it. It's really nice. can see the red speckles in the delphinium there near my spoon. I just wanted to make sure it blended nicely. So I'll do the same with the platinum in just a second. drying off the spoon <laughs> there we are platinum so I'm gonna add that in and then I'll add the platinum to the end give it a good swirl rather than using the spoon because I've got lazy by this point. I think I do use a spoon at some point. Yep. <laughs> Just to make sure it's all nicely mixed in. And I did turn the pan because I needed to make it slightly easier for myself. And I do apologise for my hand being in the way. So in this pan we're just plain water, um, which is why I added the citric acid to the dyes. Um, and on the next one I do it slightly different. So in goes spoon just to mix that platinum in and you'll see the lovely pops of rusty orange when I do end up heating it I'll show you anyway when it comes to the dry jams at the end so I am going to try at some point breaking delphinium platinum Delphinium, Dharma Platinum, and Dharma Delphinium Blue, and Dharma Midnight Blue. Because so I'd just like to see how it breaks up. So I'll be spinning up some some more minis so that we can do that little experiment. And I'm, I'm going to put this in the oven. I shall cover it in tin foil, and it'll go into the oven on gas mark four, which I think is 140 degrees for 15 minutes. And it was absolutely fine after that. Now we have the little pan, and I'm going to fold the yarns into like. I twist them into two of into an oval, but twice. Right now, I'm just stirring in the citric acid because this I'm doing this one different. I'll be using jacquard acid dyes with this one and sprinkling it on. Won't be using the citric acid with the acid dye mixed together, which is why I added it to the water. you'll see how I do this so twist it so it goes into a loop and then twist it again so it's a smaller loop and I put four of those into the water and let them just soak up and this is another low immersion dye pot
bearing in mind these yarns hadn't been set so I was setting them as I dyed them which is why they look a bit slightly over twisted but they're not now and I kind of just went a bit rogue on this one I didn't have a clue what I were doing I just I, would, I went rogue, I was messing. And as you can see, I've got a, a glove on for this one because I'm having to put it into the lid and then pinch it with the gloves and sprinkled it on. What I was sprinkling on here was I was trying to get a bit of each of the four yarns, but then changed my mind, as you'll see in just a second, because it was all over my fingers and I thought, well, I'm not wasting it and I don't have a yarn mop. So I just ended up, you can see me thinking about it there like, hmm. Do I? Don't I? Do you know what? I'll just shove it all on. <laughs> and then I'm like, mm, it's all over my fingers. I'll just shove it in. <laughs> I'll start dabbing and messing. So yeah, that's about the point. I changed my mind on how I was doing this. I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can use this up without actually wasting anything. And then I just go for it and start patting it all in. Small slice of cake. Soon. So yeah, that's where I changed my mind and decided to go rogue. The idea that I had in my head didn't work out how I wanted it to work out. Like I say, it's because I didn't have a yarn mop. If I'd have had a yarn mop, I could have wiped it onto the yarn, wiped my fingers on the yarn, and then gone to the next colour and done what I originally planned. But like I say, I didn't have anything, <laughs> anything to wipe my hands on by from a towel and I refused to waste it all. So now I'm just turning those sections over. And I think I come in with pink jacquard next. I'm trying to remember. I think it is pink. It's pink. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the pink to the middles of the middles, the middle of each one of those sections where the white is. I think, oh, do I leave it? No, I don't leave it. I end up massaging that in as well. And believe it or not, the royal blue and the pink make a beautiful 
lilac purple. So that's me massaging it in all there. And I wanted to make sure there were no white bits or at least try and make sure I had no white bits. Patting it in and patting it in. I don't know if you can see the purples that are arriving where the blue and the pink are mixing. And then I pick up the purple and I wanted purple speckles but that didn't quite work out so I ended up with quite a deep purple on top of the pink as well I'm not sure if I actually turn them over we'll see can't quite remember So yeah, I am sprinkling on the purple. <coughs> I think I change my mind again and start. Oh no, I turn it over. I thought I did. <laughs> you saw the confusion of, oh, I've got blooming dye on my fingers. And wanted to add a few speckles to the blue side as well but as you'll see it didn't work out how I planned I think my uh, pan was just a little bit too small for what I had in mind and then I go back speckling again I think this is where I should have left it. But you know me, I can't not mess. So yeah, you can see there, mm, we have quite a lot of purple on. So what I've done is I've just wrapped it up, done the same, put it in the oven. And now you're gonna see the blue and gray that's come out of the oven. There's no, no dye left, or should I say there's no, uh, do I, what is the word I'm looking for? There's no bleeding. That's the word. And it's taken all the dyes, which is good.
And I've tr I'm trying to show you the dark bit, the medium bit, through to the grey. I'm just trying to make sure that there's there's no blue in there. Just showing you. Again, I've managed to uh, exhaust the depth. These turned out gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that really dark bit. See, it don't look as dark through this camera. And then you've got the purple bit. There's all, nearly all colours gone. It'll be won't be that cre that creaminess could be coming from the actual yarn. So, oh, oh it's going to be so nice. Right, that's hot. I need to stop messing. So I'll bring you back when I could go to wash it. So we're on the wash. Um, I'm going to do the blue and grey ones first. So I'm going to shove them in there. And then I just want a bit of fairy washing up liquid. And we're going to put a little bit in. These are going to take a bit to sort out because obviously <laughs> I've just dumped them in. So it doesn't look like we have any bleeding from anywhere. So I do believe I can give these a rinse and then. Oh, hang on. I think got out of that right. There we go. I do believe we can give these a rinse because there's no runoff. Oh, that one's stuck. There we go. So before I rinse these, I'm just going to put into here the one we did in these round pan where I folded them. In weird positions so they're like that until we open them so just open these up pop them in make sure there's no bleeding and then we've got an extra one that I forgot to press record on which was hunters and you know every time he amazes me picks out colours and I think, oh god, no, but they worked. So I'll show you that one shortly. Oh, these colours are just amazing. I'll show you them better when they're dry. I'm just going to move these over here. And thank you everyone for your suggestions. I tried following them on the blue and grey. I did do a gradient on the blue and grey, but I think everyone meant a gradient in separate, <laughs> in separate uh, yarns, but I didn't do it that way. So these are Hunters and he chose plum, moss green, and platinum and they are so nice it's not something I would have picked out but once again like I say Hunter is just amazing when it comes to dyeing and picking colours mm. so yeah I don't think there's any runoff on them either so I'm going to change this water, give them the full rinse that they need, put them through the spin dryer and then I'll show you them once they're dry. So I'll be back very shortly. So I hope you all enjoyed that. It has taken I think four days to get this done. Um, we'll start with the 
midnight blue to platinum so that's what they look like all pearl well all skinned up I wanted to say pearl but I don't know why I wanted to say pearl it's just there it goes from the midnight blue through to delphinium which has got a few specks of purple in down through to the platinum they're not perfect I didn't want them perfect I did want them tonal which is why I did them the way I did so that's that one so I'll just give a quick twist See, having sweaty, sweaty hands and doing this don't work because it all sticks on your finger and you can't twist it. So yeah, that's... See, it's not that tight. I need to do it properly when we're done. And then you'll have seen the ones where I sort of like wrap them twice into... A small circle and then put them for in the small round pan these are what we got aren't they pretty so pretty I do like them they're good they're good so yeah I'll just open one of them just Grab a random one and I'll rewrap it afterwards. But yeah, look at these colours running through this. So this was the Bryla. Which blue were I think it was bright blue and purple and pink, obviously. That's me. <laughs> and what I did was I'd twisted it, wrapped it, twisted it and wrapped it again. So I had that in a pot. So that's why it's all funky coloured all the way through. I do like it. I do like it a lot. So and I did Hunters, forgot to press record. He has done so much better than me as usual um he chose plum moss green and platinum now these you are going to absolutely love i know i do it's very autumn but you see the orange in that one there hang on see that orange in it that rusty orange that came from the platinum believe it or not so i'm going to try and break platinum one day. Look at those colours. I might have to open two of these just to show you because in fact I'll show you each one. Each one is different. I don't know how he does it but that boy, come on son, that boy is amazing when it comes to dyeing. It really is. He really is, not it. And this is more like a rusty brown with the green. Come on. It's the bits of green and the plum running through. Do you know, you think being out in the sunshine, it'd work a lot better. But no, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? <laughs> I've had to move my washing on my line because it kind of hides me from the sunshine and then there's this one look at those colours absolutely gorgeous maybe it's my t-shirt that's doing it being so blue and this one with the orangey rust on look at that that boy makes me smile every time he gets out of them dyes just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous 
so i hope you all enjoyed this video if there's any questions please comment below and i will answer them as soon as possible also i will try get another video up this week bit busy with everything that's going on but i'll do my best thank you all for those that commented on my help video and oh my god i'm at a thousand subscribers i can't believe it so this friday i will go live and i will have a bottle of wine or tea maria and cork i'm not sure yet but we'll, we'll be having a fun live on friday for the first live back after a few months how exciting <laughs> So thank you to all my new wonderful subscribers and thank you to all my regular subscribers for continuing to support my channel. Love and hugs, no matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.